Hello, this is Rob Cubbon. I'm about to create a new campaign for one of my books at Amazon Marketing Services. And if you haven't got an account yet, I suggest you go to AMS for Amazon Marketing Services dot amazon dot com sign in with the same amazon sign in that you use for your kindle books you can buy clicks for 10 cents 12 cents something like that and of course you'll get two to three to four dollars profit depending on what the customer may buy there's a lot more to it than that of course let's get going the way you start a new campaign is by clicking here on new campaign and here you're confronted with a choice between sponsored products and product display ads it's sponsored products you want and the book I'm going to advertise is this one build a brand create products and earn passive income and we're going to give it a name I usually give it the same name as the book or a shortened name average daily budget doesn't matter unless you are getting huge amounts of clicks which I never have but I'll put something ridiculous like $25 a day. I'm not gonna pay anything like that, so don't worry. And we're gonna run campaign continuously starting today. We're gonna to do manual targeting. Now, first of all, Amazon will give you a suggestion for keywords. This will be very basic. I would add all these, and you'll see them down here where the added keywords are. I'm gonna remove a few that aren't relevant and then I'm going to copy all of those and put them in my Excel spreadsheet that I'm using to store all the keywords that I use for this particular book. So there they are. These are all the Amazon suggested ones and then we'll just remove all of these unnecessary words. Now I'll tell you what I've done already. First of all, I've got author keywords. Now these are a list of authors that I think my customers will also be interested in. So I've got people like Tim Ferriss, Steve Scott, Pat Flynn, and here are some that I've got from Merchant Words, and I'll show you Merchant Words in just a moment, but these were the very popular ones with the seed keyword online business. So there they are. The other thing I do in this workbook is to find duplicates. So we go data, remove duplicates. Now, why do I do that? And that's simply because if we go back here and add our own keywords, remember we're allowed thousand keywords. And if one of them is a duplicate, Amazon won't let you add them. You have to then go through and find the duplicate and then enter the words. So where do we find the keywords? There are many, many places you can go to get ideas for your keywords. First of all, go to Google's Keyword Planner tool. Just Google Keyword Planner and log in with your Google account and then you'll get some ideas and some idea of how popular they are. So for example, for the seed keyword passive income, very popular, as you can see, it gets 40,000 searches a month globally. Residual income, of course, also gets 27,000 a month and there's lots of other keyword suggestions there. If you're having trouble accessing the Google Keyword Planner tool, just Google Keywords Everywhere Chrome extension, load that into Chrome and then if you do a search in Google on Chrome just like normal, you can scroll down and they'll give you some of these other keyword suggestions along with their searches per month. Of course there's keyword suggest. You put in your seed keyword and Google suggests other popular words. You can do this in Amazon as well. And there are tools that will help you with this like the tools at SEO Chat which will give you the suggestions from sites like Google, Bing, Amazon and YouTube. More Amazon specific sites are the app at scientificseller.com, the keyword tool there. Don't forget to put your keywords through a thesaurus. There may be other words that people use. If you're writing a book on selling, other people might key in words like sale, auction, trading, transfer. Another great free keyword tool is Keyword IO, which I'll be using, as well as Merchant Words. This is the paid version, unfortunately, but you can find this for $9 a month and you get an estimated monthly search volume. Put them in the spreadsheet, 
Back to merchant words. Here are 99 results with the seed keyword sell products. So let's bung them in there. Back to our keyword search and in keyword.io, you can search Google, YouTube, Amazon, everywhere to see keywords that people are using. Now I've done a search for passive income on Google. I've come up with 550 there. It's a little bit too many. So I did a search for passive income on Amazon. We're gonna add all of those because there's 60 keywords here and export those. Let's open the keyword.io file, copy that, paste them all in. I think I'm just gonna have to put some in manually here. Brand building is in the title, business brand. So they're all of our, usually I like to fill it up with as many as possible, a thousand, but we will put them all here under add your own keywords. The cost per click, 25 cents. Again, doesn't matter at all. Amazon isn't going to rip you off and charge you 25 cents a click. That's just the bid. As long as you're bidding above the average cost per click, then you'll be okay. And the average cost per click is around about 12 cents a click as far as I can see. So we're going to paste all those in and add. If you look there, there's all our keywords, all in alphabetical order. And there's many more than we got as suggestion from Amazon. So now the last thing we've got to do is put some custom text. Let's show you the book on Amazon. Here is the book, but I wouldn't sweat this too much. If you scroll down here, uh, you'll see the sponsored items. This is what we're talking about here. This italicized bit of text that will just sell the book. I don't think any anyone reads this. So we'll put in our custom text. So I've pasted in a bit of text here, but that is it. We have done it now. I'm gonna submit the campaign for review. And now I've got to wait to see if it's been approved. Five days later, see how my new campaign's getting on. Click on that link there. So let's have a look at the data we have. We've had a total of 100,000 impressions. That's how many times the ad has been shown. We don't pay for that, but we have had nearly 100 clicks, which we do pay for. The average cost per click, ACPC, is around 12 cents. So we've spent around $11. And there's our total sales again. The ACOS, remember, is the average cost of sales. So percentage of the sales to the spend, and that's uh, around about 50%. And as I say, that means we're treading water. We're probably not making anything, not losing anything, but that's great because we're getting new customers. But the real business happens down the bottom here. We have the keywords here arranged in alphabetical order. What we want to do is to click twice on some of these columns to see what is getting the most impressions, for example. We'll click this column twice. And there we'll see the most impressions are given to that keyword marketing. Probably a bit too general because we're getting clicks but we're not getting sales. That may be one we'd want to pause. Business, maybe general, a bit too general too. We have got a sale there, but the ACOS is over 50%, so we're actually losing money. But we have a keyword here, Warren Buffett. Here we've spent nearly a dollar on nine clicks, and we've received maybe five, to six dollars in profit there. So that is a keyword that is really working for us. Uh, what we could do, of course, is increase the cost per click bid. Remember all our CPC bids are all at 25 cents. I'm not sure if it actually makes any difference as the average cost per click is 11 cents, but let's put it up to 40 anyway. We can find out more about this by clicking on the spend column twice. And here we'll find more of the high spending keywords that are not performing well. Uh, we may want to turn some of these off. Again, I'm gonna leave these on for a little bit longer and take the hit. Again, let's click on the sales column twice, and then we'll see what's doing really well. Warren Buffett, Dale Carnegie, Udemy doing well there. And the book is about making video courses on Udemy. So I'm really pleased about that. We've still got space for more keywords. 
and I'm going to show you another way of getting more keywords. So all we have to do is go to Amazon.com and search in books for the keyword we most want to display for. The best describes our book. So I'm going to go for passive income. Now I'm sure that is a keyword that is very competitive. What I find so interesting is that three or four books down, we have some Kindles here that don't have many reviews, but you can see by the titles here, they're very long and they're crammed with keywords. So here we, we have passive income strategies and ideas, start an online business, financial freedom. These are all keywords that are people going to put into Amazon and look for books about. And for this reason, it's really a good idea to have a look at their description because there will be loads more keywords that you could find here like making money while you sleep, make more money, work from home. You can see this guy has done his keyword research on our topic and we're going to take as much information and keywords from him as we can, even his name as well. And we want to do this to all the books that are here on the first page of results. And this is what I've done here. And what I did is I went through a few of these books and I found a bunch more keywords, over 50 in fact. So copied them all. Let's go back to our campaign, add keywords, paste them all in. And remember back in Excel, I did remove duplicates. And because I've done that, hopefully <laughs> this will all add into our complaint. So let's go for it, add, and there we go. We scroll down to the bottom. Now we have 399 before we had 348. So 50 keywords added, a successful campaign. Well, we are now at the beginning of March. So I've left it for over a month now. And we can see that the performance hasn't really improved, I'm afraid. So we are actually losing money on this campaign. But don't worry, I'm going to be showing you ways you can further tweak your campaigns, add more keywords, Plus, I'll show you some of my other successful campaigns. But let's go into this one that we've been talking about so far. So we wait it for it to load because we have more data now. But as I say, unfortunately, we've spent nearly $70. We've made $110 total sales. Probably means we've made around $50 profit. So this goes down as a campaign that's not doing great at the moment, still much more work to be done. But let's have a look. We'll click on ACOS twice. So immediately we can see that that marketing keyword really isn't working for us. It's had a lot more clicks and we've still had that solitary sale. So that's probably one now that we should pause. Remember the ones doing well, we're going to put them up to 40, but we have a lot more sales on other words here. This is all great stuff because once you see these keywords doing well, there is a great tweak that you can do. Remember, these keywords are broad match keywords. What does that mean? That means that the people who've searched these keywords haven't necessarily typed in this word blog. They could have typed in WordPress blog or make money with blog or even peanuts blog. We really don't know. It's not exact match. It could have been blog, but the way that phrase and broad matches work is that the broad matches allows the most differentiation from the keyword. So it can actually put words before, in the middle and after. So for that reason, you need to take these keywords that are doing well and split them up. So income could be one, streams could be one, multiple could be one because somebody might key in multiple income streams in a different order and then you're still likely to get those people if you add as a broad match and these are all broad match just these individual words even just dale and just carnegie just independence and just financial so i did all that and that's why this personal one has come up with a sale because it was part of a keyword about personal brand or personal income. 
And so you've really got to split them all up and plurals and singulars. So this should be brand and brands. And just make sure you've remembered those ones. It's amazing what you can forget. So we'll click in brand. No, I did remember that one. Thank God. So remember, get rid of the one. If you don't want to lose money, get rid of the ones that are not making you money. Or if your objective is just to sell more and you don't mind spending a bit of money, then of course you can leave those enabled. They are getting you sales after all. So there's still more to look at. This is double clicking on the ACOS. Now is the bad news. Avert your eyes now. Let's double click on spend. Yes, because here we can see how we're spending money on all these words that aren't performing. But of course, what you like and what you think means absolutely nothing. This is the data that is pertinent to your book. And this is the data you need to look at very carefully. Of course, if you're not making money from these keywords, for example, money, I've spent $3 on that, 21 clicks, no sales. So that one you could pause if you wanted to. And all of those that you are spending money on, if it goes right down here, still, I'm still spending 50 cents, 50 cents. This all adds up after a month or so. The campaign's been running for about a month and two weeks. So after the end of the year, you know, this, this will add up to some serious money. However, there are other advantages. Here is the book. People could buy this book, enjoy it, buy another one. We don't know. They could buy the book and upsell to other products that I have that maybe cost more money. And I will recoup the investment I'm making on Amazon ads in other ways. I'm very pleased to see that on March the 4th, that's only four days ago, I got a great review. Absolutely unsolicited. I don't, I don't know this guy. It's verified purchase. Very likely he came in from one of the ads sales. Uh, this seems realistic and doable. Great, fantastic review. The review before that was nearly a year ago. So it really shows you that you can give a book, a Kindle book, a second lease of life on the Amazon store, not just Kindles, but paperbacks, of course. Remember that these ads do sp- especially well in selling your paperbacks, which you'll make more money from than you will make from the Kindles. So that's that campaign. Let's go back and have a look at some of my other campaigns. Look at the most successful one here. Spent uh, less than $40 and I've made over $120 in sales, probably $10 or $20 profit. And I've sold loads of books, probably sold 10 or 12 books on this campaign. So I'm making money and making sales. But let's have a look at the sales column. But you'll see that I'm doing well. I've got ACOSs, absolutely tiny ACOSs, which is what you want to see because Uh, you're getting sales and you're not spending much money. So it would be an idea to increase the cost per click bid. Again, we're not sure if that helps, but it certainly won't harm it. We certainly want the book to display for these keywords where we're getting the low ACOS on. Here's one with a high ACOS. Of course, we could turn that one off, although it is WordPress and the book is about WordPress, but all good information. Remember, We see what's doing well here, like WordPress dummies, for example. Can we split that up and put in dummies? It's very general. We'll get more impressions, more clicks with that word. But will we get the sales? We don't know. Let's add that word. And there you go. You see, I I didn't, I hadn't added that word. Somebody could key in now website dummy. Dummies is a great word because it, of course, it is the famous series of books that tells you in simple language how to do these complicated technical tasks. But it's a great campaign. It's it's getting sales. It's making money. So I hope that helped you selling more books by using Amazon marketing services on the Amazon book selling platform. My name's Rob Coven. I'll see you in another video.